All right, welcome to Canna Etiquette's channel. I'm going to be doing a product review of the brand new Grow Kit by Grow Mal 5 featuring rapid LED frames. And this kit is a DIY, so do it yourself. Piece it together. So basically, all these parts were individually, you know, uh, included in the kit. Of which, most importantly, the chilled logic pucks, which we'll be focusing on today, version two, which has 215 Samsung LED chips, the LM301Bs. On top of that, we have four individual 660 infrared LEDs that kind of help with the, you know, sleeping effect and, you know, sometimes the Emerson with the additional red lighting, which I don't think we have enough of at this moment, but we could definitely add it on since the frame is such a elegant and smooth build. It's a pretty, you know, I want to say smooth. The pucks slide very easily the boards themselves are probably one to two millimeters thick but probably four all combined with the you know the LEDs and whatnot about five and a half inches in diameter and the pucks and slash boards are about the size of my hand here Some tools that I think would be very nice to have will be a good old classic screwdriver just so you can kind of attach you know these solidly in and also to the sides of the frames and if you had a pair of wire cutters would be nice just so you can kind of you know separate the positives negatives and at the same time it be, would be nice to have a tape measure of some sort or if you had like a piece of paper you can, could always you know mark the distances that way if you didn't have a you know a ruler or a tape measure or something like that and uh, on top of that some ratchet hangers just so you can hang it to the overall tent or area that you're working with I personally chose the metal steel hangers over the cable wires just because I thought that the cable wires would be kind of a little more you know bendy and you know if I had like the fan going on I feel that wouldn't be as like structurally sturdy so it wouldn't kind of be you know as wavy other than that some things that I'm also a really big fan of are these Wago 221 connectors let me grab the box real quick So instead of soldering, I found that these were super easy to use and I was actually really impressed in my first time being introduced to these specific you know, pieces during the project here. So that way they just flip right up. Each one is only for a positive, negative, or a ground. And so that way, you know, instead of soldering the two ends together, you put one end on the right side, one on the left close them together and BAM so I ended up buying a, a set of 100 off Amazon for about $24 which is not too bad you know just for future projects um, and originally for just uh, the whole kit itself here just uh, while we we're talking about you know just numbers the kit originally goes for retail about 250 and then you know Anything above 229 off Rapid LED, you get free shipping, so that's a, a good plus. And then for the boards themselves, each board draws roughly about 100 watts out the wall slash driver at full power. And so, say you know with the potentiometer, you know you could lower it to about 10% that I want to say you know I mean at, at its lowest setting. So and then it goes always to a highest setting about 100 as well. And I'll kind of turn this on in a bit here so we can check it out. 
So let me kind of flip to the back. So, these heat sinks are pretty damn huge. I want to say there are 140 pins, and that way they dissipate the heat of whatever is generated, even at full power, extremely quickly. You know, I have these same heat sinks on a PLC6 by Pacific Light Concepts. So, shout out to you guys. And you know these ones are just as sturdy. In fact, on in between the puck and the heatsink, there's actually a thermal pad. You know, and since I already attached this, I can't really show you. But you know, I'll put uh you know just a link on the bottom so you can kind of get a description of it. But the thermal pad acts like a paste, and then that way it's not as messy, and it's gonna be something that lasts a little longer. It's not gonna dry out, so that's a little good plus. And then, you know, you have the two lights connecting together. And then also the lights are connecting to the driver. So then I have the potentiometer connected to the driver just to adjust the power. And the only way to turn it off is to actually unplug it so there's actually not an off button. But you can lower the power to, you know, say, you know, 10%, which I like to do before I turn it off. Just so it's not blasting it full power where you can plug it, so you don't, you know. Um, but besides that, you know, um, let me turn this beautiful lady on. Alright, so this is at its lowest setting. You see how there's those four 660 infrared LEDs on both pucks. And then the 215 Samsung chips at an efficiency of 2.59 umoles per joule. And these are running about 3000 Kelvin here. So full white Cree chips and then you know let me turn this up real quick to its highest setting and so this is that full power which is pretty damn bright I almost got to turn it back down so I don't blind myself but at 10% I want to say maybe 15 you know be great for veg this would be great for flour as well you could additional add additional puck here and I'm gonna turn this off real quick and what's great about this build from rapid LED is you can definitely have a bigger frame you can even do a 4x4 four four, a 2x4 four, uh, 8x8 eight you know, you can literally add as much as you want. You know, just calculate the driver, the power wattage, the frame, and just kind of as long as you have the wiring. And these are, uh, I'm gonna say, saves you a lot of time. So, uh, one thing I do have to mention is if you had a wire stripper, that'd be really nice. I actually made a full blog on my WordPress here that I'll link that goes more in detail for the framing and the wattage pull and drivers that you'll need. And then I have additional photos just kind of having it set up in my personal space. But you know, that's the Chill Logic Pucks by Grow Mile 5 featuring at Rapid LED. You know, and product review by Canna Etiquette. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later. All right.